Nether portal, most people build it like this, rich people build it like this, insecure people build it like this to compensate for the size of something else, and I built mine like this, way up in the sky, but I don't like it. Why? Because it's not a tree. I love trees. Small trees have to be sacrificed for a bigger tree. Moon aquarium. Now that the sacrificial ceremony is over, we can start placing the outline with leaves. A lot of leaves. More. 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 It's done. Now it's time to get the actual building block, and I've always thought basalt looks a lot like logs. It's a lot easier to get as well. Not this way, not this way. There's actually a simple basalt farm that we can build and it works pretty well. How does it work? I don't know. I followed a sugarcraft tutorial. But after using it for... Tell them editing worries. And now we have so much. Yeah, this is probably more than enough. But my pickaxes are dead. So let's fix that really quickly. And now we can replace the leaves and fill up the empty spaces with basalt. Yeah, just like this. But a lot, a lot, a lot more. That took two and a half hours. That's phase one done, but I'll be honest, I second guess every single block place. You know what? Not even second guess, third guess, fourth guess. It's probably not proper English, but it's more accurate. Anyway, the second phase is to build the branches. I like it, so let's do what we've done before and replace it with building blocks. And let's add some smaller branches as well. I am feeling a little bit of pain in my left forearm, but you know, the leaves look pretty good. At first, I was just using it as temporary blocks, but it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like moss. I'm thinking we add more of it, but I only have 21 left. So let's get some more and place it around the tree. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now it's time for the actual leaves, but I don't want to use leaf for it. I'm thinking about bidding autumn leaves, so we're going to use yellow wool and orange wool. Yellow wool, check. But we don't have orange wool, so let's go get sunflower. There it is. Now we planted a home and bone meal it for infinite yellow dye. Grab the poppy from the iron farm. Now we can craft orange dye. We have one choco box of orange dye. Let's see how far it gets us. I'm just going to place it down randomly like this, and hopefully it looks good. Um, yeah, we're going to need more than hope. We're going to need red wool. And we need to rebuild this hideous thing. That took so long. I 11th guess every single block. And I have to do that at least four more times. Yes, I'm telling you to hit the like. I just realized if lightning ever strikes, all my hard work would be gone. Please like. That took two hours. Please like. My game crashed and I lost all my advancements and stats. You have to suck. No, but seriously though, if you know how I can get my statistics back, please let me know. I actually want it back, but nothing more than bragging rights, of course. I think it happened my because my microphone was starting, so that might be why. Be because storage. I was really maybe low. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe I didn't <clears throat> As I'm arguing with my past self, I want to tell you that you should like- Look at that, boys. We finished the leaves. A week and a half. Was it worth it? <laughs> no. I should have used World Edit and like Madoka to plan it out. Anyway, now it's time to build the actual portal. And you know how some trees have holes in them? That's right, we're gonna give this tree a big old hole. Yeah, that's a pretty good hole. I would go in it if I still had a functional one. Now let's build the portal. Oh, that is looking good. But you see those? We gotta patch them up. And let's block the back as well because the inside of this build is reminding me of my ex-girlfriend. Ugly. That is looking good, my friend. But now we go to the nether, break the old portal. And the new portal should be right here on this block. And now that we know where the part of the tree in the nether is supposed to go, we do the same thing. We build the outline and then we fill in the outline with a lot of basalt. Wait, I just realized the nether portal is supposed to go there. But with the way I'm building, it's going to go there and it won't link up properly. <laughs> Time to destroy everything I built for the past two hours. Even with Lightmatica, it took 40 minutes to rebuild. Imagine having to build all of it without Lightmatica. <laughs> oh, wait. Four hours to get half done. Time for the other half. And we're out. But that's all right. We'll just do a bit of this and a little more of this. We are now done with the tree trunk on the nether part. But it looks kind of weird when the trunk just ends there. So I think what we can do is build a sky and make it look like the tree trunk is going through to the old world. And for that, we're going to use light blue wool because we have a lot left over from the time we built a minion. Another item we're going to need is glow lichen. We're going to need a lot, so we're going to have to use a lot of bone meal. Now we just have to cover the top of this trunk. Before we can start placing the glow lichen, we have to fix this. I hate this, I hate this! Yeah, eat that! Mojang, please remove them. 
Not again. And tortures don't even help. But two things we can do. What? Hello, past me did a horrible job of explaining because these guys here kept shooting. So editing words is here to explain. I have two options. One is to use strings to spawn proof. The hard part of this option is to find a spider spawner. I went through many caves, found a mineshaft with no spawner. Then I remembered that mineshafts are everywhere in Badlands. And in mineshafts are cave spider spawners. I made a farm, used it for 30 minutes, and got about half a shuckle box. I needed about five shuckle boxes. So at that rate, it would have taken five hours. That was not fast enough. So I left the Badlands. I went to a mansion I found before, got myself a few LAs, took them to the nether, out the nether to the desert, took their dirt, gave them sand. And in the same amount of time, 30 minutes, I got five shuckle boxes of sand. But I didn't have a single empty shuckle box. So I went to an entity and got myself a few shuckle boxes. But to smelt five shuckle boxes of sand manually? <laughs> no. So I did what I had never done before, and that is building a super smelter. But I didn't have enough fuel. So I went to the nether, flew to a super far wither skeleton farm, got coal, and if you're wondering how far it was, 8,000 blocks. Anyway, I refueled the smelter, then I waited. But one thing I forgot to tell you, there's a word in the middle of super and smelter. Yep, it took way longer than I thought. But I can't really complain because I probably built it wrong. Anyway, when it finished, I grabbed the glass, then I started using it to spawn proof. While fighting gas, of course. They never left me alone. I was very annoyed. Annoyed to the point that i decided you know what i'll take my time to brew some potions but with the potion i was able to work peacefully and finish but just to realize wait i could have used carpets why did you make me do this <laughs> let's just place the glow like in yeah that looks like a sky a really ugly sky but a sky nonetheless but in a game of squares we don't like squares so we gotta fix this and to do that we're gonna use soul soil and soul sand because dirt is too light and it wouldn't look good someone please explain to me what is going on oh there we go oh there we go Bloop. all right we have five sugar boxes of soul sand and soul soil now we just place blocks around the tree and making sure it's not too symmetrical because nature is not symmetrical unless your name is Waris, because god made that man very symmetrical and good looking all right, we've got the shape. Now we just extend the shape until there's a two block gap between it and the sky. Now it's time to extend it and make it look a bit more natural. All right, we now have a platform, but once again, we need to spawn proof it. And there we have it. You wouldn't believe how smooth it went. I didn't shuck an entire race off a cliff and I didn't even purposefully hurt them. And I didn't steal anything from them. But anyway, that, it looks all right, but it doesn't look connected, so. There we go. Now it looks like the tree is breaking through, causing the dirt to fall. On to the next step. The tree is five blocks off the ground. Based on my previous decisions, you might think it was a mistake, but I actually want to build a biome here because if a tree just grew on top of a bedrock, it wouldn't make sense. And for the biome, I'm going to use soul sand and soul soil again. Last block to go in the shulker box has to pay the bill. I learned that trick from family dinner. All right, outline. Fill it in. By the way, did you know that soul speed actually takes durability? I may have learned that the hard way. Anyway, for a tree to get this big in the nether, it's got to get nutrients from somewhere. And I think the best way to show that is to build skeletons we got a lot of bones from the wither skeleton farm but it's pretty hard to build with full blocks so we're gonna use quartz instead hopefully this is enough we're gonna start with this one and this one here that one there pop this one here pop that one there and we have a dragon skull and to anyone who says i took someone else's design you are absolutely right i followed the tutorial now let's work on the spine we have the line now if we add some slabs there we go, that's better. But how about some ribs? And how about some limbs? We now have wings and legs. Now to make it more realistic, we'll break some part of the ribs, some part of the wings, the legs, and we're gonna put some fragments on the ground. All right, we're done with the dragon skeleton. Now I want to use skeleton skull as well, but we only have four. Hello darkness, my ancient friend. I have come for the men you beheaded. Oh, hey man. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh oh, uh oh, we got a head though, we got a head, and we got one more left, you die. Oh no! And that's it, the thunderstorm is over. Well, at least we got one more skull. Alright, back to risking my life with a different mob. We went to three different ancient cities, and now we have 15. I didn't want to use wither skeleton skulls, but we're gonna have to mix it in because regular skeleton skull takes way too long to get. All right, we placed down a good amount, but we can barely see it, so we're gonna build bigger ones as well. Yeah, I think that can fly is the piglin skull. Time to build a black one.
I think that's all right. We're gonna add one more black one, a white one with spine. There's an attempt at a slanted one, which is gonna be way too difficult. So I built a regular one with a slight twist. And the final one that you can barely see, but overall it looks pretty good. However, for there to just be bones, it, I think it's pretty sad. I don't like that. So let's get some frog lights from the farm, some magenta dye, craft some magenta glass. Now we just place the frog lights like this and glass around it. There we go. We now have the spirits of the fallen. They may have lost their physical form, but their spirits remain. Now we just got to do that like 10 more times. Eighteen more souls have been added. Now to add some more color with fire. And vegetation. What? Oh, it only works on soul soil. That's a problem. We'll just skip it then. <laughs> it's time to finish the build by clearing out some blocks. Set up the portal. And blending it in. And there we have it, a nether portal that connects the nether to the old world. Was it worth it? I don't know. Does it look cool? I think so. Did it take a long time? Absolutely. So please, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. You've probably been asked to do it multiple times already in your lifetime. So yeah, please help your boy out. You know, maybe help me make this my job. That would be a dream come true. And that's it for today. I built an overly complicated nether portal.